human being to all that is, ever has been, and ever, ever, ever shall be. And I'm here in Trapani in front of the Twin Clocks. It's a tower of two Twin Clocks. And it's a very, very powerful meeting that is here in Trapani, a city that is governed by Saturn. <laughs> and I just talked about the whole Saturn time loop matrix, but I want to spend a minute just explaining time, all right? First of all, if you've read The Infinite Human, you know that uh, there, we are infinite and really there is no such thing as time. Time is created, and time is created to bring story or meaning to our lives, and it's very important, and that's in my first chapter, The Divine Storyteller. So in the organic, natural, divine technology of time, it's actually based on 12. Surprise, surprise, the clock, of course, has 12. 12 t is a 12, um, you know, oriented uh, timepiece. And uh, that comes from through organic time, which is based on, and if anyone's familiar with the Kabbalah, all right, we're talking about the tree of life, which has been co opted into a tree of death, which is based on 10, okay? If you look at new age uh, today and this actually happened during the renaissance it was co-opted into the the hebrew uh false tree of death which is 10 zaphiroth or sometimes there's 13 but that's a trick too so it's supposed to be 12 zephyroth now these 12 balls all right are the original construct of time in our universe all right it is the way that um, time progresses. And time is something that we use to learn from, all right? We learn uh, from ourselves. Uh, the, that's the, uh, the um, journey of the hero. Kiki, be quiet. <laughs> that's the journey of the hero, which I write about it in my book, but it's it's about learning, you know, it's about challenges, it's about overcoming them, it's about gaining the elixir of life at the end, the reward of, of understanding. And it's the way the divine creator learns about itself as we are part of divine infinite source. So it is, a, it is a good thing. Now, what has happened though, is in the original construct in this universe of the tree of life, the uh, top Zephyroth 12, which is a direct conduit to Kundum or the life force energy, the Christos energy, the divine energy of the universe and brings that down, down all the way into manifest the, um, and we're talking huge, uh, really families or collectives of great consciousness. Um, a family called Giovanni on the 11th Zephyroth basically decided they didn't want to play along with the rules and they started fighting with the other children, let's say, they did, <laughs> of the uh, 10th Zephyroth. So anyway, this whole trauma began, this drama became, and we became involved in it. And it has, because it's just out of harmony with the natural organic flow of energy from the highest crown chakra, we'll say, to the lowest, it destroyed the fabric of our universe. And also, since we are as above, so below, we also have this tree of life within us, in our upper chakras and down to the ground, all right? So what it has resulted in is each of the 12 Zephyra corresponds to ourselves, our DNA strands, and it also corresponds to stargates, all right? That connect us to the higher God source worlds. But since our stargates have been co-opted, taken over, and also our strands have been eliminated and we've been reduced to two strands, which is only the physical and emotional that holds only those two aspects of us as human beings. So you can see what that has happened. And then we have been encapsulated with artificial timelines. And that's what we've been doing. That's why you see people now walking around in comas. Some of us are waking up and some of us aren't. So what has happened now is we have these two timelines running together, but like two horses, you know, you, and I talk about that in the book, The Infinite Human, you have your feet maybe on two, but 
come uh, November 8th, 2023, they're going to be separating and they're separating into two spirals, an organic timeline of the Crystalla spiral or the uh, encapsulating non-organic artificial time loop which keeps you imprisoned in the Fibonacci spiral which diminishes away from source. So one will take you back to source to an infinite creation and the other will take you eventually to space dust. So you don't want to take that one. But it's a choice you're going to have to make moment to moment. And that's what this is about. So we're standing in front of this to help you decide how to be on the timeline, the optimal timeline, the organic timeline. And what we will be seeing in the world around us is very sci-fi because we're going to see these artificial timelines collapsing, which means a lot of things will be coming up for you. Perhaps memories that you have of something that really didn't exist. It existed, but it existed in a false timeline, which no longer is there anymore. So it gets it's really kind of like back to the future, uh, you know, time machine type stuff. But uh, that's, that's all good and all exciting.